going to kind of walk you through uh, how to wire in series for a 24 and 36 volt system uh, using 12 volt batteries. In this case we have three. Uh, we'll do both the 24 but mainly the 36 volt in wiring in series option. So um, you got a 12, a 12, and a 12. Uh, you got your two jump cables and uh, we'll kind of take you through step by step on how to wire these in series and how to do so safely. Alright guys, I'm uh, just going to show you and walk you through how to uh, create a 36 volt system uh, for your um, trolling motor. So we have three 12 volt batteries. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect all three of these in series to create uh, a one battery block that powers, uh, kicks out 36 volts. Um, so it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, what we need to do is get two of these um, battery connector uh, jumper cable. It uh, doesn't really matter what size, uh, lengthwise is that you get. Um, I did get uh, a little longer than uh, I probably want now. Just uh, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to situate three new batteries in my boat. Um, so I got a little extra just to, in case I had to move them around a bit. Um, but uh, it's pretty simple. You're gonna you're gonna take your uh, negative on battery one, and you're gonna just connect it to the positive on battery two, and then likewise here your negative on battery two is gonna go to your positive on battery three. Um, one thing before you get started that you want to um, consider is when it's all said and done, you're going to be connecting your trolling motor um, to a terminal on, on battery 1 and a terminal on battery 3. So you don't want your positive here and your negative over here because uh, then you're going to have to reach and crisscross wires. So battery 1 and 3, I have a positive and a negative both facing the same direction. So you want those facing out towards whatever power you're going to be connecting to. So, um, that being said, I'll show you, it's pretty straightforward, uh, negative battery one, to the positive on battery two, and then uh, same thing here, you're going to go negative on battery two. And you're going to go over here to the positive on battery 3. So you've got your battery 1's connected with the negative to the positive of battery 2. Battery 2's negative is connected to the positive of battery 3. And that's going to leave open two terminals here. Uh, battery 1's positive and battery 3's negative. So this system is wired in series and here are your two posts that you'll be connecting to to give you the 36 volt system. Um, to do a 24 volt it would be the same thing. You would just be eliminating battery 3 here. So you would just have your 24 volt system, your, your negative to battery 1 to your positive to battery 2, and that's going to link these two, and then you've got your two open terminals, your positive and your negative. So that's the 24 volt, and then that was the 36 volt that we did before. Um, one thing I will recommend, um, just be careful when you're in here connecting wires, and uh, especially when you're using a wrench to tighten down your bolts. Um, especially in close quarters is when you're tightening you don't want to connect um, any circuit with your wrench. It can be done accidentally but it will give you a pretty good shot so just make sure you're clear there um, and then uh, you got your two posts here to fire up your new motor so hopefully that was helpful. Thank you. So I'm just kind of show you here a little closer um, what I was talking about you got your three batteries all wired in series but you've got your negative here on battery one 
connected to battery 2's positive terminal. Negative terminal of battery 2 is connected to the positive terminal of battery 3. And on battery 3 you've got your negative terminal open. On battery 1 you've got your positive terminal open. Those two terminals are where you're going to be connecting your trolling motor for the 36 volt system wired in series.